So, as she said, I am Ronald and I'm from Yoko. Uh, just a little bit of history about Yoko. The concept of Yoko is about four years old, but as far as the market is, we're about two years old since we launched and had our first card reader in this first hand. Um, we started with six people uh, in terms of users, and we're now sitting on over 2,500 customers nationwide. And this is in a span of two years. Uh, with a team that grew from four basically founders to we're sitting at about 35 employees at the moment. So it's been ex exceptional growth for us. It's been, I can't even begin to tell you the story. I was there from the, the first card transaction to the one that probably happened while I'm speaking. And it's been a story that I, we could talk about for hours over wine and beer and more wine and then pass out, wake up again and start again. So it can go on for, forever, but, I'm, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to kind of talk about how tech can kind of help empower your business, and more specifically, how Yoko has taken this challenge to help small to medium-sized businesses, and what we've been doing over the last two years, and what we might be doing, sorry, will be doing in the next few years. So the concept of Yoko came up because a problem was identified. So one of two things actually happened. One was like we went, when, uh, one of our founders went overseas, saw this concept of mobile payments and was like, this is amazing. And then he started thinking, how does this fit in into South Africa? How am I going to get people to believe that this product is going to change my business or is a product that I'm going to choose over the traditional card machine? Um, so essentially, we did a bit of research and we found that it's actually not that hard to sell, to be honest. Yes, there is an element of education, but if you look at the core problem, it's not that hard to sell. So the main problems that a lot of new businesses, especially in the small to medium sized spaces face, is that it's not that easy to get a card machine. I, I don't know if anyone here has a card machine and can tell me that they walked into a bank, told them what they're about, what they want to do, and then they walked out with a card machine. I don't know if anyone here can tell me that. No? Can anyone? No. Okay, great. You can do that at Yoko. So essentially, um, you're able to walk out with a card machine and start accepting cards almost immediately. So the problem that a business would face is, I go to the bank, first of all they tell me, okay, please fill in a paper form and we'll see you in 10 days. Maybe, you've got a, maybe you're going to get it, maybe you're not. Okay, your business has not been operating for six months, sorry, you've been, um, you're not approved according to our betting systems. Okay, next thing they say to you, okay, fine, you've been approved, but you have to pay 400 Rand per month for this card machine, whether you use it or not. So all of these things are what we call barriers for a small business. You have poured your heart and your passion into your product, into what you wanted to do, into your dream, and then you, you come to the bank and then you're stuck with a point where, do I spend more money on my dream or do I change my business model, accept card and lose money while I'm still trying to make money? essentially. So our model allows you to kind of use our services and only pay when you're making money, essentially. There's no contracts involved. You sign up with Yoko, you pay once or for our devices, uh, which you'll see in the flyers. Uh, I won't go into too much detail because of time. And you own the device. You don't have to pay anything per month. You use it when you need it. And when you're using it, obviously you're generating income from it as opposed to sitting in a drawer somewhere, you're seasonal, you only, you only do well, as, as a lot of people in Cape Town know, when the sun's out, money's to be made. When the sun's gone, it's cold. It's cold there and cold in the pocket. So we built our model to empower and to allow small medium businesses to get access to a facility that's critical to small business. So you can see some stats here, no monthly rentals. We can get you a reader within two calendar days if it's delivered, but you can actually walk into our offices and leave with a card machine. I'm not just making this up, I have people, we've got about, I think we did about, about seven of those just last week alone. People walked in, we told them what we're about, they walked out with a card machine, they're accepting card. The banks have a less than 50% approval rating. So you hold your entire business for two weeks waiting for an approval that may or may not come. So you're almost looking at a 50-50 chance that you're going to get this card machine. We have a 95% approval rating. We have one of the most sophisticated vetting systems that allows us to see where you stand within less than a minute. We can tell you in a minute, yes, or maybe there's more documentation needed or whatever the case might be. But again, I ask, have you been able to do that in the bank? 
Then there's business insights which we provide as a free service as well. Now, I mentioned earlier that your business is your passion. This is what you want to spend your time doing, right? The business part is, is an element you need to have to be successful. But the passion is why you got into it. Um, you got into it to, to sell furniture, to create furniture, to get people, to expose people to your art. You didn't get into it to figure out that in winter, if I take away this many furniture items plus this many furniture items, I'll sell more. Or you didn't get into it to figure out that, okay, I have, if I have five more staff members and it costs me this much, I make this many sales so I can afford these many more staff members. That's not why you got into it. It's what you have, you have to do it to be successful, but it's not why you got into the business. So Yoko is building business insights that allows you to add a click of a button or just logging into a website and being able to see, okay, I've made this many sales or this many items at this time. I know how much money I have and then lessens the burden of the daily mundane stuff. For restaurants, cash ups, you don't have to keep the slips. I don't know if anyone here has worked as a waiter and there's that moment where you're counting your slips and it doesn't match. And then all of a sudden, your boss is like, well, you did get tips, so I've got my money. You go along your way, I'm sorted. That doesn't happen with Yoko. It's purely digital, paperless. What our system says is what it is. So you know that every day, even your staff will be happy. You know, they, they know that they don't have to worry about the slip game. Or also when it comes to fraud, you have to keep your slips for over a year. Uh, just in case a fraudulent transaction comes up and the bank will say, if you don't produce the slip, you're going to have to pay. We store the systems online. You tell us Thursday, the 20th of April at 2.30 p.m., this transaction, the bank is investigating. We can pull that for you in minutes. And there you are. You're safe. You're protected. So all of these things are free service we, we provide over and above the traditional services of card acceptance. So, I mean, who are we empowering? your sole proprietors, your new businesses, uh, and even the, even the little guys, the guy who's like, I've got a job during the day, but at night, I want to sell my passion. I want to sell my dream. So, I mean, you can see the numbers here. I'm not going to go into much detail, but we, we, we don't discriminate based on size. We built our product for everyone. You can find us, our oldest merchant, the 86-year-old lady who sells jam in Tukai, every weekend, she set herself up. We even phoned her when we, when we spoke to her and phoned her. We're like, do you need help? She's like, no. I found you guys on Google. I set myself up. What are you guys, what are you guys talking about? You know, we're like, okay, cool. You know, trying to, you know, we learned a lesson there. And then we can also be in some of the larger establishments. You can find us at Beer House where there's seven guys walking around. The waiters love it because they're like, okay, I don't need to worry about my slips. Uh, the table's closed. Cash up takes seconds. I can go out and actually have another drink after work, you know? Uh, so our system is built to empower from small all the way up to large businesses. Okay, so how does business accept, uh, so how does accepting card empower your business? I mean, there's obvious, obvious things such as everyone carries card. I mean, you guys have seen this, you know this. An interesting fact is that 78% of people prefer paying by card. If I was to say to, to you guys now that I had a, I don't know if any football fans here, but a, a Manchester United jersey signed, but you have to pay me now, how many of you would be able to, to come up with, like, if I said it's 20,000 Rand, come up with that money right now with cash? You wouldn't. No one would be able to. But some of you, I'm looking at some of you, could afford to pay a card for a 20,000 Rand jersey, you know? It's because it allows you to upsell. You, someone gets your stand, they came for a pencil, they buy a book. They're like, okay, this actually matches quite well. I'll buy the cup that I can put my pens in. And I don't have to worry about cash. So a card just opens a bunch of new elements to selling. And also, what's also very important is that you work so hard to build what you built. You sell what you built. You sell with passion. People buy your passion. Then it comes to the point where they're like, okay, I'm ready to buy this. How can I pay? There's nothing you can do. If, you don't, if they say I can only pay by card, and you don't have a car machine, there's nothing you can do except maybe ask them to walk to an ATM, which may or may not be convenient for them. So, card is just something you need to have in your business. We just took a look at our base. So, we have cash facilities as well, so, so people can track the entire business. So, you can use it at point of sale and see how much cash you're taking in. And from the businesses that use Yoko, the average spend on cash was 54 Rand and 92 cents. 
but the average on card was 153 rand. So you can already see the difference there. Okay, so I'm just using the screen to mimic what I'm doing here. So I have an iPad here in front of me and one of our Yoko readers. So this is the Wireless Pro. So this is our premium card machine. This is the one that uh, a lot of people like because of the shape and the design, and the sleekness about it. So that's why I have it with me. Uh, so essentially what, I ha what you have in front of you is a number pad screen. You log into the screen and this is just like a calculator type number pad and you can type in an amount. I mentioned earlier that we, it is a light point of sale. So you're also able to load specific items, right? This allows you to track how much of something I have sold which is quite important for any business, I, I, I would imagine. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but knowing how much you sold or something is quite important. So this is what we call your sales history. You're able to see everything live and in real time. We auto refund, so that's why a lot of them are on the red. But if I tap that top transaction that I did, just did with Alice now, I can see exactly what Alice purchased. I can then go in and fetch my receipt. And this is the kind of receipt the customer would get. So as you can see, you can see how many items the person uh, purchased. So if there's any returns or anything that needs to happen, you've got a receipt and it's stored forever and you can resend it as many times as you like. Um, just quickly, and what I mentioned as well is that we have a portal. So, so this, is what, this is where the business owner sits. This is where you want to spend a bit of time just getting to know your business, but not all your time spending figuring out your business. We figure out you just, just learn and push that into your passion. So this is a bit of a, as you can see, it's in real time. If I refresh here, it should show me what Alice just did now. But it shows me, I can look at weekly, monthly, daily sales. Um, it also allows me, as you can see there, there's Alice's transaction that we just did now. It's 44 Rand, average month <coughs> transactions. Settlement view, which is very important. When am I getting my money? You're able to see when you're go what's in progress, when you're going to be settled. We've got a settlement calendar, so ours won't have anything on it because ours auto refunds, but you can click on any day and you'll be able to see how much was owed to you and paid to you. There's a bit of business information. You're able to update your business details, but this is the most powerful screen for me, is my sales reports. So this is just a snapshot view of how I've done today. I'm able to see the quantity of items sold. I'm able to see the total each item provided me with. And then I can see my staff. I can also filter my staff members. As you can see, there are only two people who actually work in this business. And you're able to also filter and see payments and see how much, am I actually, how much have I done in card. There's also a more in-depth sales history if you want to go and start working with filters. So if you have more than one staff member and you want to do cash ups for each individual, you can filter by staff member. You can filter by uh, approved transactions, failed transactions, all transactions. Um, you can manage your store from here as well. So what's quite cool is that you as a business owner who have multiple locations can update your business from the portal and it will sync with everyone using the Yoko app. We have different security levels, so staff members see certain things, managers see certain things, owners see certain things. You can filter, your you can manage your entire business from one point, which is very, very powerful for us. So I'm not going to take much more time, but I just want to leave you with the thought that, that, the w that there's so much technology out there, there's a lot of noise around it. Uh, you've got to be careful, but you cannot avoid technology today. Whether it be Yoko, whether it be Zero Accounting, uh, whether it be Shopstar, all these things are there to empower you, to allow you to do your passion, which is to sell what you do. So you don't ignore it, embrace it, but still be careful because as many good products as there are out there, there are also some other interesting projects, as I call them. All right. Thank you very much.